other part of it is that your delivery methods will be conducive to people's learning. And methodology is a really important thing, you know, putting the person at the centre of the learning. By methodologies we mean ways that you can address these foundation skills. Um, probably the best way is to make it integrated into the training so that everybody in your training group benefits from this. When you're teaching you have all these things that are juggling and you're juggling these different balls, okay? So the employability skills I'm aware of and they're just sitting over there on my shoulder as well. So I don't actually teach them, you know, you don't teach teamwork, uh, but you actually, when you're doing a particular task, you look for an opportunity to actually integrate that into whatever you're doing. We usually work um, around in a U-shape so that we they get to talk to each other around the U-shape so we don't have them lined up like a... We, we try and make sure they don't feel like they're in school because for some of them, going back to that thought is just you know, too much to bear, <laughs> me included. So we have a, a U-shape instead and we have the chairs set so that they're facing toward myself, but we then allow for movement during the day. We do a lot of movement during the day. So we'll have chairs set so it's easy to form clusters and small groups and talk across the table as well without them having to try and find a chair or whatever. I tend to always change. I never walk into a classroom and, and just use it as it is. I tend to to move the, the tables in such a way, and they're usually small groups anyway, in such a way that they can all see each other so that it's um, already creating an environment where everyone is collaborating. Well, I've never had rows, okay? I think rows are out. You can't be talking to somebody in the front row and have expect the person in the last row to understand what the hell's going on. So in terms of my using space in that situation, it would always be sort of a table where we're sitting around a table and everybody's looking at each other, for example. So being able to work together um, in teams, in pairs, um, not being intimidated um, by your fellow peers or students, um, and it, uh, it facilitates self-assessment, self-evaluation, self peer review. At the end of the day, it just makes them more independent learners. In terms of basic delivery strategies, I'm very much into interaction. Okay, so I, whatever, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one or a small group or a bigger group, I reckon most of the time my delivery is interaction, if you like. Well, for us, an interactive approach is one where we might um, set a task and then we might get them to work in a small group and think about the answers to that task or create something, and then we get them to present that to the rest of the group and then from that we would put their answers up on, a, on the wall and then we get them to change groups and then have a look at the answers on the wall and, ask, and answer the question, well how does this affect me, how does it affect my organisation? So there's a lot of interactivity um, from an individual and a group, small group and then a larger group so that they learn from each other and they all learn that they've got something to teach as well and sometimes it's just tweaking the little techniques here and there that just makes a huge difference. So when I use a whiteboard, it would be uh, with the intention of focusing on a particular word and then using that word to, to make a point of some sort by asking meaning, talk about the pronunciation, you know, I would use it in some way. I think it's just being able to organise the information on the whiteboard. For example, vocabulary, you would list that on one side. Um, so it's just systematic. It's very integrated what we do, you know, we, we sort of teach the language skills, but it's integrated with computer skills, employability skills. You teach all of that so that they're sort of more robust as students when they finish.